celebrating a school's 100th anniversary. Q2's Jenny Fix sat down with a teacher who spent 15 years of his career at Orchard School, and it just happens to be someone very special to her. So we're here at Orchard Elementary. Um, we're celebrating our 100 year anniversary. We're excited to be here and honor the, the students that we currently have as well as the alumni. So, how do you celebrate a century? To go with the trifecta, so food, music, and games. Orchard's a neighborhood school, it's a generational school, so a lot of our um, parents have come to school here, and so um, it's cool for them to come back to our school and just kind of see how things have changed over the years. Orchard has been improved upon many times in the past 100 years. When they took down the original building, so the facilities and just the programs that they have, uh, they have an extra, they have two principals now, which is wonderful for here. I mean, I just think it's blooming. Certain culture here that even if they move away, they still are drawn back. Just the overall, their friendliness, they care about each other. Yeah, I like that. Alumni could walk down the halls again and take a look back. Alumni including one man who holds Orchard near and dear to his heart, my grandfather. Grandpa Fick spent most of his teaching career at Orchard. Well, I was here for 15 years and we had six principals. So, I, I don't know, I think you wore them out. And oh, did he have some memories. Well, back there in the 70s, I'm not sure of the year, Principal Ted came back from the principal's meeting. He said, I've got a big announcement that uh, female teachers will be allowed to wear a nice pantsuit occasionally. It was kind of earth shattering at the time. There was no shortage of reminiscing, reunions of past co-workers, students, even children and grandchildren of former students he had encouraged or influenced. Gave everybody a chance to shine. Curriculum may be a little different now. Being that agriculture is so important in this state, I uh, took kids on field trips. Uh, like to the cattle sale, and boy, they were surprised. They'd never seen anything like a cow going to the bathroom. Clearly, a lot has changed, but one constant? One thing that I enjoyed was uh, parents uh, sending such good kids. It's really rewarding to be here because the kids love the attention that you give them, and, and it's just, I don't know, it's just a very special place. <laughs> a meaningful 100 years for Orchard School. Here's to 100 more. In Billings, Jenny Fick, MTN News. Jenny tells us there was also an exhibit contributed by the Western Heritage Center on the development and history of Billings Southside. Stick with us here on Montana this morning. Still ahead, there's no need to break a sweat for this workout. We'll take a look at one fitness trend that promises to tone and sculpt your face. It's 33 degrees in downtown Billings.